But I remember, you know, they were playing some Irish songs here. And, and uh, Noreen said to me, they're playing Danny Boy uh, on the harp. And it was so beautiful. But my father used to have a beautiful Irish voice. And he, could, he sang all the Irish songs. And he would sing, Danny Boy was one of them, and, and I'll take you home again, Kathleen, and my wild Irish rose, he'd sit on the side of my bed, my mother died, and he'd sing that to me. And such a, but he also used to sing a song, it was only a shanty, an old shanty town. The roof was so tattered, it near touched the ground. Just a tumble down shack by an old railway road track. But all of my memories are taking me back. This is Tijuana, when I first saw it. Was only a shanty, an old shanty town. The roof is so tattered, it near touches the ground. Just a tumble down shack with miserably poor people inside. And I wonder the Irish, and I know the Irish were that poor. Were that poor. And not a little over a hundred years ago, how much of Ireland died? One third of Ireland died of starvation. So the tumble down shack by an old railroad track is not just other places in the world. It's where my heart comes from. And some of you come from. Because you, everybody that's in this room came from some other country. And you didn't come because things were so good there. You didn't come because you had a great business and was loved by the church and by the law and everything else. People came to the United States looking for the same thing that the Mexicans crossed the border looking for. The ever, uh, Jesus was a foreigner, you know, in Egypt. Be careful how we treat foreigners, you know. Oh, by the way, where are my cars? Could I get it, please? I, I did something with the idea that a, that a pastor, a wonderful pastor, thought of. He said, every Christian should carry it. Would you give me the green card? I've got a letter. Let me get this. I've got my numbers. Here it is. I hope I have enough for all of you. I love you here. Here's a green card. Who wants to carry a green card? <laughs> Who wants to get legally into heaven? <laughs> you were born in, the expiration date is when God wills, and your permanent residence is heaven. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And so, this is your, a gift to all of you today, and I'd like you to see this man that died not long ago, uh, Sister Ever Reed's brother, and he had, was widowed twice, and he had one of his sons, one of his seven children had muscular dystrophy. He was to have died at 17 or 18, he lived to be 42. And Matt carried him on his back, and he said that was his joy. You'll read it in the newsletter. But he carried out a little business card. I used to give it out in, in Clinton, Massachusetts to everybody. And this is what it said. Need a ride? Need a hand? Need a friend? Call Max. Oh, call Max. Mm, wow. he, he didn't find reasons to be bored. He didn't find reasons to find life uninteresting. No matter what you're doing, you could be making a, a pie, you could be doing everything is when it's consecrated to God is beautiful. But nothing that doesn't count. Be nice to the most, un, the, the neighbor of yours that's the most unfriendly, be the friendliest to her. Make God happy. Anybody can love those who love them. Jesus tells us that. Anybody can say nice things about people and say nice things about us. But defend people that speak against us. Love the ones that are crabby and mean and speak against you and love them. And love them. And you'll win them over. There's one, one courtroom uh, representative that comes to the prison every day and, and I tell you for 10 years you wouldn't say hello to me and every every <laughs> afternoon I'd say buenas tardes senor buenas tardes licenciado nothing <laughs> <laughs> well about three months ago he started to say buenas tardes madre and now he reaches out to me buenas tardes madre I, it takes time sometimes and you don't know what he was going through Maybe somebody treated him mean. Don't shame anybody either. I have to give you that lesson of kindness. That's, those are the steps to heaven. Kindness, kindness, and kindness. That's what the door 
have you ever danced? If you want to go straight to heaven with your shoes on, then be kind. And don't make have any excuses to be unkind. Even though you might be on the verge of this, hold back. And remember what Jesus says, as you do to one of these, the least of mine, you've done to me. As you think about them, what you wish for them, what you hope for them, what you want for them. You want for Jesus. Oh no, but I want Jesus to have everything. But what about him? What about that homeless man? What about that poor, insane girl? The psychotic people that walk on the streets and, and don't know where they are or what's happening to them and are victims. Terrible victims of terrible things. They, they make me cry. When I have a girl, one of my daughters leave the prison and she's a mental case, I can't send her to the house because she will set the house on fire or do something. There's no place for her to go. And only one place for us to go, Mother, the world has no place for us. I know, my darling, I know what God does, but you must go on living. Don't think of taking your own life. You must go on living. But Mother, there's nothing but prostitution. There's nothing but pornography. I know. I know. I know. You have no choice. What kind of a life is that to live? What kind of a life? What kind of sufferings does she bear? So say today, Lord, I'm going to do, I want you to form you in me. I want to be another Christ in this world. I want my eyes to shine when I look at people. I want them to feel happy when they see me. I want them to feel, I don't want them to be afraid of me. I'm not afraid they're going to gossip about me or my son or my husband or my mother or anyone or my best friend. I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't want them to say anything, so I won't say anything. I don't want to resist being kind because I need kindness. I want to give because I love receiving too, Lord. And I don't have anything that I haven't received. And gosh, it's so doggone easy to give. What does it cost to give? But when you have to stand in line like this with your hand out, hoping somebody's going to give you something, or when you're standing in a long line saying a prayer, you hope, you hope, you hope, you hope you're going to get enough money to pay the rent like we do every month to come. Or you hope they're going to have something for that your son can go to school. Or you're praying and hoping. That's the hard life. To give, to give, to give, to give, to give. That's the easy life. So since you've been, you and I have been giving an easy life, let's make it easy on other people. Shall we do that? And you'll be a light in the world. How would you like to know that you're a light in the world? A light. A light in the darkness. We won't complain of what we're a war is because we're bringing light there. We're praying for them. We're loving everybody. We're not excluding anybody. We're going to be a light in the world. How would you like to be a good shepherdess? The good, that you go out and bring in the sheep. Bring them in. All the things you can do. All the things you are. Just let them go and say, I surrender myself, Lord, to you. Do with me as you will. Mm -hmm. So may the blessing of the Lord be with you and about you. May his goodness shine in you. And all people love you as, you, as your love will, be, will meet them. And they will be blessed by your love. And you'll be blessed by so many people caring and loving you. You won't exclude anyone. It's in, inclusive, your love. And it won't exclude not anyone of any faith, of any color, of any country, of any race. Everybody I'm going to meet in heaven, Lord. And I don't want them to say, who are you? I want them to know I'm your sister, I'm your brother. That's who I am. Amen. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.